So what we're going to do today is we're going to prepare a thin specimen of this leaf so that we can look at it end on. What we want to do is to be able to examine through the microscope that aspect of the leaf and we want to see the different layers of the cells there. Trouble is, of course, to actually do that as it is, no matter how careful we are, it's going to be very difficult to actually get a specimen thin enough to look through with the microscope. And that certainly wouldn't be possible to look through that with a microscope. So we're going to use uh, an age-old technique using the humble carrot. Uh, we're going to use the carrot as a vice for the leaf. So we take a carrot and we take a little bit off it, like so. We're going to put a slit into the carrot. And we'll just put that to one side. We need to prepare a little bit of the leaf. We're only going to need a, a tiny bit because we're going to reduce it in size. So here's our carrot vise. Here is our leaf. So we're going to insert the leaf into the carrot, like so. A little bit of persuasion there, and it should pop in nicely. That's lovely. I'm going to just take a single edge razor blade and just trim off the surplus, like so, and just take it off level with the surface of the carrot. That carrot is quite thick. I don't want to spend all my time cutting carrot because what I'm going to aim to do, I'm going to try and take very thin slices of the carrot and in doing that I'll also capture some very thin slices, I hope, of the leaf as well. So we'll start off there. It'll probably take you something like 30 or 40 cuts before you get four or five decent specimens. As luck would have it, that actually isn't bad, that one there. What you do is you imagine that you're turning into a bacon slicer in a butcher shop and you just start to do it very fine. Like so. That's hugely thick, but some of these aren't bad. The one in there, for instance, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll keep going. This is using the same technique that a high tech gadget, well, relatively high tech, called a microtome, uses. So there we are. Let's see what we've what we've managed to harvest. So we've got one or two specimens there. What you need to make sure you do when you place the specimens on the microscope slide is to actually make sure that the leaf is that way up not that way up, because you're going to try and look through the leaf in that plane there. Okay. That one there is not bad at all, so I'm going to keep that to one side. I'm going to put a drop of iodine on the slide. And I'm going to get these pointed end tweezers and I'm going to pop my specimen in. Now you'll probably find uh, that if you've cut your specimen thinly enough it will automatically arrange itself the right way up. If not, it's back to the drawing board. Pop a cover slip over the top. 
use the mounted needle just to roll her through to get rid of any air bubbles. Now you notice that for my specimen I used iodine solution. Um, that's one of the stains you'll be using. You'll also be comparing that to distilled water and to a range of other stains as well. And each stain should highlight a different aspect of the leaf. So here's our microscope. First thing I need to do is to make sure that the stage is as close as possible to the lens. And then we track away from that when we're focusing. We've got our movable stage, so we'll get that centralized. And now I'm just going to place the slide under there in the caliper. I'm using the yellow 100 times magnification until I can find the actual leaf specimen. And then I'm going to arrange that and you might just be able to see the light shining through. Now I'm going to look down the microscope, unfortunately um, I can't arrange it so that the camera does, 